You know it's a good day when you're making pretzels. Oh, they're soft, chewy, and a little salty. Oh my <laughs> gosh, so good and made even better when plunged in some homemade beer tea. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's better with beer tea. Well, that's true. <laughs> I tell you what, homemade pretzels, you guys. Yes. <laughs> so I'm Chris. I'm Wesley. My soft, chewy, and a little bit salty Lou. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I think you're mostly just salty. Yeah, totally. <laughs> very, very <laughs> salty. <laughs> so we're making pretzels, and you guys, we've been tweaking this and learning oh, it, and yeah. we've got it and you're going to make it and oh, you're going to say so great. where have you been all my life okay yes. so let's we jumped the gun a little bit and we went ahead and got things started not by a whole lot so I added a cup and a half of warm water just like you can do hot tap water it wants to be in the range of like 105 to 120 somewhere like that I'm not not screaming boiling hot uh, right and then I added this is a, a trick to give you that really good authentic pretzel taste it's yes. um barley, barley malt, malt syrup um, it's kind of hard to find. I order it online. It's really easy to find online, and I've got the link for you. Um, if you don't have, if you just can't get that, you can use dark syrup, or you can even use brown sugar. And then I added just one of those packets of instant yeast. You could use active dry yeast. That's two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, and I put that in there, whisked it all together, and then just like eight minutes, and you've Look got this that. beautiful. It is activated. I, it is <laughs> activated. I love it. So now we are gonna we're gonna make some dough, and we're not even using our stand mixer. I'm gonna use my arms, okay? All right. I'm not doing it. Yeah, I was, knew that. We got two tablespoons of melted butter that I've cooled down just a little bit. I've got a half a teaspoon of salt. There's not a ton of ingredients in this. And then I'm gonna do this a cup at a time. And I've got a cup of just all purpose flour that I'm gonna start working into this uh, liquid. And it's going to start to come together to make a yes. dough. Oh. Soft pretzels are one of my favorite things in the world. And it's almost, it's baseball season and the Texas Rangers are actually doing okay. <laughs> I can't so believe far. you I can't believe you actually know that. Yeah, that's a, that's a miracle right there. <laughs> but oh, you, we pretzels are one of those things that I, I have to say we we come our family here in Texas. They love to eat, but they're that's a picky group. I mean, they're they're we have those that are very particular about what they like and they don't like. This is the one thing that but, we can make and they Everybody all likes. uniformly love. Yeah. I think so many people just love pretzels. There's something about them when they're done right. Oh, yeah. Well, we um, we lived in, um, obviously, we've said this so many times before, we lived in New York, and, and we were, you know, young, starving artists, and, you know, you'd go to an audition, and you wouldn't have a, a lot of money for lunch. So a dollar, one of those giant dollar soft pretzels from the vendor, Got you through the day. But you know what? I know, because they're good and bready. Of course, like, you know, two hours later, you're starving. Yeah. It's like rice. But I I, I, I know, and you love those. I, I just, love them. I always felt like they didn't have much flavor. Yeah, you always went for the dollar sausage. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, I, there was one time we went again in New York City with some friends, and we went to this German hall, beer, well, it was a oh, German restaurant, yeah. and they, we a, ordered German um, pretzels. In, it was a beer garden. Yeah. It was a beer garden, yeah. and I'm like, it was just so good, and from that point on, I was like, we've got to learn how to master these uh, pretzels, so yes. I think we've done it. Yes, this is like the 18,000th time that we've made yes, them. Yes, <laughs> I know, I know. Once, once you start making them, you'll never stop yeah, making them. Yeah, and then them. you can't stop eating them either. I know, that's that's the thing. Okay, so now this looks like, it, this is what you call like a shaggy dough, but that's okay. It's going to come together, and that was, so that was about a shaggy dough. Shaggy. It's you know just kind of shaggy, kind of yeah. like, loose. Um, so now it's still a, it's still pretty wet, um, but we're gonna start kneading it, and I'm going to. Thank you. Yeah. It's definitely gonna need more uh, flour. So I used about three and a half cups in there. I've got another half a cup right here um, that I'll continue as you do this. You'll feel that it's you'll feel the moisture. Move it this way. And it'll, it'll just absorb go. that uh, flour and it's gonna become the most beautiful, elastic, oh, soft, yeah. wonderful yeah, dough. It's, it's gonna make the best pretzels to, ever. We get to do the fun thing of rolling them out. And then we're gonna roll them. That is fun. <laughs> you definitely wanna get the kids in to do that. So keep your flour handy here, and we're gonna knead this for about, oh, six minutes. Okay. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Look wow, at that. Wow, that is gorgeous. So I did, I told you we start, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it's a good cardio for you. So we start, I told you we started with three and a half cups of flour. And I, as I continued it to knead, you know, when it starts to feel, the dampness, add more flour. So I added, definitely added another half a cup. So I did a total of 
uh, four cups of flour, maybe even a little bit more. If it's just have some handy, you know, keep your surface floured. You and are then, winded. I am a little <laughs> winded. It just shows you how bad. Uh, I've, I've been eating too many pretzels. <laughs> I'm out of shape. Anyway, so now we're just going to form that into a ball. And all you're going to let this do is just, it's not, it doesn't need to rise for a long time. Just like cover it with a kitchen towel like this and let it sit for 10 minutes. And then we're going to cut it up and make pretzels. <laughs> Okay, 10 minutes, no big deal. Okay, so now, hi, pretty dough. That is real pretty. It is so pretty. So now I've got my little bench scraper here. You can do this with just a, a knife, but this is gonna make 12 perfectly wonderful uh, pretzels. If you, <laughs> Don't say perfectly wonderful. Well, why? because Because uh, not every pretzel is shaped the same way. Well, that's what makes them perfectly wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that. You don't have to, you don't have to weigh all of this. You can eyeball it, you know, so it's, it's not an exact science. Pretzels are meant to be individual or whatever. <laughs> so I cut this into four. So now I'm just going to cut these into like three sort of like football shaped um, pieces of dough. Give me one. Okay. So now he's going to start showing you the art Art of yes. forming a pretzel. This is what I like to do. This is, I have, after our 18,000th round, I think I've finally figured out <laughs> how to get these. I want to get this rope, this dough rope, to about two feet. Well, 20, 20 to 22 inches. Yeah. yeah. Almost two feet. And I'm just going to do this. Keep doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna I don't know if you guys can see that there. Let's see. He see? does it. There's a couple of you. You like you said. You want to making these into rope. Um, so you know you can uh, you can do it like this, like on like that works. Um, Get a little up further so okay. can see. So you can do it like that. That works. Uh, you can. I like to do this, but just be careful because it'll. <laughs> Like a can come you up. tear it though. I know it can be. You got to be really yeah. careful. Uh, but this is, is a good way. Here to do we go. It. I've got mine almost at two feet already. Oh, slow down. Be there. Careful there. Yeah, hold on. Hold, hold. But this Look. is so much fun. I'm telling you, it's actually you, very therapeutic. It really, well. it really is. I've, I love it. I, if, we, if, didn't we if go you get a, a really long one? You know, you can also <laughs> see that's what happens. I was going to be funny and say you could jump right yeah. with it. All right. So I've got this piece here. I'm going to take both my ends and I'm just going to do a like a crisscross and then bring then them to back. Go in. show them that nice and slowly. Yeah, I just did, and then I bring okay. it back here and I do that, and then you have your perfect pretzel. Isn't that beautiful? Shape. I'm a much better pretzel baker than he is. I'm just saying. You know, and he's, so, he's just so <laughs> modest, too. That's what I love about it. Okay, so we're going to just continue have fun with dough for the next, uh, and make 12 pretzels, <laughs> exactly. and then we're going to come back and show you a trick to make them taste amazing. Yes. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Those are gorgeous. You are a good pretzel yes. uh, maker. But just, I just, uh, really quick, I just wanted to let everybody know that I, I kind of pinch right here because that's where the dough connects to the, to the other half. Yeah. So I just maybe make it a little more secure. I just, yeah, yeah. I just give it a little pinch. Just a little, a little pinch. pinch. And, but you know, like I said, any way you do them, they're going to yeah. be beautiful. You can just make braids. That's right. So now you'll notice we've introduced a new uh, device here. So this is a pot of water. I've got eight cups of water in here. It's and boiling. The, and it has come to a boil. So now this is how you're going to get those that authentic tasting. Um, be, be careful when you do that. So that is baking soda. That's a half a cup? That's a half a cup of baking soda. Um, you can go ahead and mix that in before the water comes to a boil, just because you see that really did foam up like that. But I what that it. does is it just a lot of times, I don't know, we're not gonna get into the way commercial uh, bakers will make pretzels. They use a lie process. And we don't have any lie lying around. Most people don't <laughs> have lie lying around, yes. And you can find it online, but um, it, there's, it can be really toxic on your hands and it's it's just it's not really that safe to use for the just, home this is just great and this is really spectacular it's it's so really good wonderful. so i'm going to just continue stirring this until it's nice and dissolved yes and um, it's I, just bubbling now I love it. so what now what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a quick trip to the uh <laughs> baking soda hot tub and it's going to kind of puff a little bit and it's going to lock in that incredible flavor but you don't want to overdo it because oh i'm sorry you don't want to overdo it because then it'll get yes. kind of metallic tasting right. grab so the bottom two at a time uh, depending on the size drop of your it vessel. in and drop it in we're going to go for 20 seconds so 25 one two <laughs> three four 25 so now you just pick it up with a if you have a a spatula with holes in it that's great and don't let it go for too long this has now been in there probably about 30 seconds that's about the yes maximum. and they puff up just a little more they puff up just a so little I've bit so i've got more. them here now and i'm going to take the salt and this is where we're going to add the salt yeah you have some coarse sea salt if you can find like kosher oh it's crab. so good coarse is really good um and uh 
Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we, and meanwhile, we've preheated our oven to uh, 400 degrees. Sorry, okay. let me, I'm here. All right. I'm now here. we're going to finish these off. One, two, 25. Yay. Look okay. at that. All right. Bring it on over. over. Just kind of like, just get the excess liquid off. Um, it's all right. They're not going to be dry completely, and that's okay. This is a little but foamy. But that hot water yep. dries it, yep. too. Oh, I gotta, let me do the last pretzel. Oh, yeah, we, we, it's raining pretzels over I here. I know. It's a, it's a good day. So you'll see we put these on our, we have some silicone mats. Those really are great. They just, they cook perfectly on them. Um, I've got a link to them in the uh, description. Get, I use them all there. the time. I know. <laughs> um, if you don't have those, no pro problem. You, I do recommend putting them on parchment paper and spraying it with some cooking spray. Um, don't do them directly on the pan. They'll, they tend, that baking soda tends to get a little uh, burnt on the bottom. Um, but anyway, so. I think I got these all good. You did good. You're, I he's hope a I didn't over salter. I hope I didn't over salt. Oh, I don't think there's such a thing as that. Okay, <laughs> so like I said, we've got our oven preheated to 400 degrees. Keep an eye on them. Don't keep opening the door, but probably about halfway through, you may want to rotate the pans. You may want to switch them, you know, so one's on top and one's on bottom. Um, and then it's pretzel time. Yay! I'm so excited. It's that magical time. Yay! Pretzel time. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Can you believe? Oh, those are gorgeous. Look at that. Those are gorgeous. Isn't they amazing? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. And so you've got 12 beautiful uh, pretzels. And you I, it's just amazing. You saw for your very own eyes that they're really not difficult to make. Look at that. And I love how they kind of split a little oh, bit. They just have yes. that super authentic. Um, look to them and taste and and good thing for that silicone because you know, those don't stick they don't them. stick that it really is a game changer um and i use it in so many of uh, baking all the time isn't that fantastic now you can um ah, i so think they're excited. great they're really great served warm like this <laughs> and you can let them cool completely of course oh and, no but um you gotta serve them warm guys those are so gorgeous i can't even tell you all right i'm gonna so we've, plate mine we've got our, we've made our trusty beer cheese sauce. I've got the recipe um, in the description for there you. There you go, honey. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, let me just make sure everybody can see this. Y'all, look at that. That Oops, is. Hold on. Let me make sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure everybody can see it. Perfect. All right. I've got my cheese sauce okay. right here. I got. These are going to be nice, piping yeah, hot, Wesley. So be, oh wow. They're so soft. Oh, that is pretzel heaven. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Remember those microwavable soft pretzels? No, I never <laughs> did them. I, I'm telling you, I'm growing up, I was not a fan of pretzels. And Y'all, that is the perfect pretzel. Yeah. You know what's going to cool it down a bit? My bear cheese. Well, I heated the bar beer oh, cheese. Right. <laughs> I am a pretzel believer. Wow. I'm telling you, I'm. Wow. It took us a while to finally get to the point where we were really happy with these. Look and once that. we got there, you guys, you can see. The dough is just perfect. <sighs> Sorry, Chris, I didn't mean to interrupt. But I feel like I'm in pretzel heaven. <sighs> the salt. In the <laughs> you don't even need the beer sauce, the beer cheese sauce. You wow. don't, but it's a nice touch. Wow. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling I got some, we've got some good news coming. Wow. 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 <laughs> Hello. They're very chewy. I know, I know, I can hear that. <laughs> these are 10,000% Luna proof. Yes! Oh my gosh. I love these, Chris. I do too. I, this is my new favorite. I can hardly. It's summertime, about to be summertime. We're going to have the baseball family over, game. baseball game. We're going to watch, and oh. we're going to make pretzels. You got to do the it. same. Love it. It's these so much are so fun. Good, you guys. They're so delicious. They're a blast to make, and you are going to be. Eat them all the time. Yeah. We love you guys. We love you guys. <laughs> love you more than a pretzel. <laughs>